Hey guys, this is James Lefer with the Impossible Channel. We're going to be talking about these weird objects that people are seeing all over the world. And it just keeps coming in, you know. We've gathered some more uh, pictures and footage from our email to show you that we're not kidding. You know, nobody's kidding here, you know. Nobody's fooling around, you know. So this is really, uh, this is really awkward, you know. We seem to have another object in the sky, but we don't know what it is. A lot of people are saying that it's Jupiter and it's moons. It's out of its orbit. NASA doesn't want to talk about it. You know, it's causing global, uh, massive global warming and all that. You know, but I don't buy it. You know, I don't buy it. Just want to see what's going on with my eyes. I guess you do too. You know, and uh, I know that the weather's gone crazy. That's for sure. I know they have technology for for weather control, you know, so let's let's just analyze these three, three first pictures here, just, you know, let's focus on uh, from the weather, you know, from weather anomalies, you know, let's go to what may be causing these weather anomalies, you know, this is a picture of the moon, right? Wrong, you know, the moon was 100% on its dark phase, according to the anonymous uh, source, and you have we have here what seems to be the moon or whatever object this is behind the clouds you know so this is one of the reasons i believe they've been cat trailing all over they're hiding something it's obvious they're hiding something and we don't know what it is you know uh we we would like to know we would you know for sure that it's the Baru and planet x we don't know what it is okay i've been told they're going to disclose uh, some things about UFOs, you know, WikiLeaks and all that. Let's take a look at this UFO sighting in North um, Northern Ireland. Okay, again, uh, Northern Ireland. Thank you very much, guys, for sending these videos and pictures. This is just awesome. This is uh, evidence that we not not only we have an inbound planetary system, we probably have. You know, some kind of some kind of alien form, alien life form, I guess, trying to make contact. Now, the majority of the population, they're not going to see it. You know, this is a, again a UFO in Northern Ireland. This morning on my iPad. This is half an hour before the sunrise. So I've got both my iPad and my PC running the same thing. Okay, so you know, like it's three, it's um, half an hour before sunrise, and you have this pinkish color. You know, take a look at that. I want you to pay attention to the sky. Okay, um, okay, look at that, look at that. Half an hour before sunrise, you have this pinkish, really strong pinkish color, you know, in Australia, you know, I was wrong, this is not 3 a.m. in the morning, you know, this is half an hour before sunrise. And this is happening in Australia very, well, a lot of people are seeing this, many are trying to tape it and take pictures and all. Whatever, you know, if you have any picture on this, please do send it to that impossible channel at gmail.com, okay? Let's take a look here. So we have what seems to be this, um, you know, this lens flare, right? That the sun is causing, right, on the camera. But again, why the lens layer? You know, this is one of the questions we must ask. You know, every time now you're gonna try to take a picture of the sun and you get these pinkish or bluish lens layers, sometimes more than one. It's really weird, you know. Just something up, right? Just something building on. Here, for example, well, I don't know, like this. Well, for to me, we have two light sources, okay? I'm gonna try to, you know, point it out. Noonish, okay? Noonish, and over here. I don't even, you know, this is very clear, you know, very clear to me. I have 
two light sources, but this time it's more of it's focused here on the left and this other color on the right. What but, but you know this when this email we received from this source, you know, we we're gonna try to you know focus on this different color here. Okay. So point is the, the main focus here, the main point is we got two different colors. Okay, two different totally two different colors. And we believe that this is one way of figuring it out, you know, like this, whatever this other object is, inbound object, you know, in space or whatever, you know, in, inside our dome, it's pinkish or it's it's got this red iron color, okay? Take a look at that. This is from another source, a different source, okay? The same pinkish iron color, you know, this is very obvious. Uh, it's very obvious that we got another inbound object you know in in space or inside our dome if we live in our flat earth right take a look here guys folks we have the sun and this triangular object and this is a different kind of sun dog i've never seen a sun dog produce this triangular kind of effect that's kind of whoa you know there's something something they're excessively cam trailing the skies that's for sure so we've got also this very wonderful time lapse uh well i don't know again the pinkish color you know seems to show up in the middle of the night and this is really weird you know well again you know like this um white source you know the second white source in the middle of the night did you see that you're gonna see it in the horizon you know a pinkish light source very strong there's the green effect over there that could be an aurora borealis you know and we have this uh, pinkish um, light source you know this pinkish light it's coming from somewhere you know in the middle of the night again you know this is really weird right guys take a look at that in the middle of the night we seem to have another light source you know whatever this is we have very clearly here in the horizon you can check it out Take a look at that. You have this pinkish light source in the horizon, in the middle of the night, and you can hear this pinkish light source. So something is up. Okay. Well, not only something's up. They're cam trailing the skies. Take a look at that. Wow, man, it's impressive two lens flares yeah well there's probably two suns over there right two light sources over there right right so what i gather by the fact that we have take a look at that folks we seem to have another sun or you know a smaller sun next to our sun it's producing two lens flares take a look at that folks so that is very, you know, that's very, we got the camera trailing, you know. I don't know what that is, folks. You know, if you take a look at that, you know, it's moving like the lens flare does. But it's not moving properly like a lens flare should. Okay, take a look at that. It's, it's wobbling, you know what I mean? You know, take a look at that other lens layer. You know, it's really like I'm gonna go back here in the video. Those are two lens layers, okay? They're wobbling normally, and we've got this other object there. To me, that's an object, guys, okay? And even, you know, because it, here it's wobbling, you know, it's moving. So it could be an alien mothership that's really serious, that's really big. This is huge, okay? Whatever that is, it's huge could be causing uh, global heating, global, you know, warming, whatever. This could be the reason for the cover of the chemtrails, you know, whatever. Um, if this is an alien race, they're trying to make themselves uh, apparent, you know. That's my guess, okay. Now, this could also be Project Bluebeam, and they're trying, you know, they're, they're, they're producing these holograms in the sky for us to believe in whatever they want us to believe. And again, but this is coming from a lot of different sources.
asking this is the moon and we have an object next to the moon if you can you just just you know over here i'm going to point it out seems to be pinkish again the moon and an object with a pinkish halo around it so this is big you know this is really big there's something in the sky there's definitely something in the sky you know and they're hiding it with cam trails this is just ridiculous Okay, we've got the sun at noonish position. Take a look at the, the cloud reflection. Okay. Look at the color of the sky. It's blue. So it's not sunset. But we have a sunset over here. And that was the question. That was the you know the, the, the source, this question. You know, James, why do we have a sunset occurring over here, you know? So this is all over the world, guys. This is not even, you know, in one same place. This is all over the world. So we've got Australia, we've got Canada, okay? We've got Ireland. Well, yeah, and we've got other places. So you've got US, you know, USA, okay? So this is very, very compelling. We've got this, just to, you know, just to close up this video, we've got this, uh, this very compelling picture of what seems to be an object you see that there's the chemtrail and the heavy clouds during the sunrise and there's this object next to the sun now I'm gonna zoom in and it's clearly an object something and they're not gonna be able to hide it much more so you know they're not gonna be able to hide this for much more you know time much longer you know this is it's gonna, you know, whatever it is, it's gonna get to a point where they're gonna start either um, faking a world war. If you have anything, please do email us at that impossible channel at gmail.com. Whatever is in our sky, it's up there, and we need to to share this, guys. Please do share this. Comment below what you think about it. And see you again. Hey guys, this is James Lefer with the Impossible Channel. We're going to be talking about these weird objects that people are seeing all over the world. And it just keeps coming in, you know. We've gathered some more uh, pictures and footage from our email to show you that we're not kidding. You know, nobody's kidding here, you know. Nobody's fooling around, you know. This is really, uh, this is really awkward, you know. We seem to have another object in the sky, but we don't know what it is. A lot of people are saying that it's Jupiter and it's moons. It's out of its orbit. NASA doesn't want to talk about it. You know, it's causing global, uh, massive global warming and all that. You know, but I don't buy it. You know, I don't buy it. Just want to see what's going on with my eyes. I guess you do too. You know, and uh, I know that the weather's gone crazy. That's for sure. I know they have technology for for weather control, you know, so let's let's just analyze these three, three first pictures here, just, you know, let's focus on uh, 
from the weather, you know, from weather anomalies, you know, let's go to what may be causing these weather anomalies, you know. This is a picture of the moon, right? Wrong, you know, the moon was 100% on its dark phase, according to the anonymous uh, source. And you have, we have here what seems to be the moon or whatever object this is behind the clouds, you know. So this is one of the reasons I believe they've been cat trailing all over. They're hiding something. It's obvious they're hiding something and we don't know what it is. You know, uh, we, we would like to know, we would, you know, for sure that it's the Beru and Planet X. But we don't know what it is, okay. I've been told they're going to disclose uh, some things about UFOs, you know, WikiLeaks and all that. Let's take a look at this.